John Tully. Someone coming now. Do you think it's Molyneux? It doesn't look like. No, it isn't Molyneux. It's Major Hurst. Rick, that's him. That's the agent. Are you sure? Of course I am. I've met him before. His real name's Boris Hanovich. You've met him? Yes, he knows who I am. I can't pretend to be the factor's agent. What are we going to do? Good morning, Mr. Molyneux. I'm Lucy. I hope you've got the other half of this, my dear. Of course I have. Good grief. That woman in a funny suit. She is a British agent, Section Q. Good grief. Don't panic, my love. I'll see you at the arch at the end of the house in five minutes. No, you tried that one already. How about this one? Well, how many of these wretched halves are there? Well, from a seven by two sheet, 13 of them. It. That's the one. Now you can go and meet him again. Yeah. yeah. I am here, my dear. Excellent, my love. Now we can talk. Come with me. Where are they? What are we running away for? I have a feeling we were being followed. But I think we're alone now. Have you got the formula of the explosive, my dear? You always call women my love or my dear? Do I? I hadn't noticed. Have you brought the money for this? Certainly not, my love. I mean Lucy. I shall leave the money at a drop for the factor to collect as usual. A drop? Where? Does that concern you? Yes. Uh, no, no. But I'm terribly fascinated. Do tell. Well, this time it's a locker at a factory. The factor has given me instructions for finding the right locker. What are the instructions? Just a matter of drawing lines. Side to side and up and down. And counting the spaces between them. What's he talking about? I think he means if you draw lines side to side and up and down, they must make spaces in between, like bricks. Does he want us to count bricks? <laughs> What's so funny? This. I'm afraid you're being conned by Section D. Dirty tricks. It's a fake. How do you know it's a fake? Because it was almost the same as the last one they gave us. It's time those boys thought of some new ideas. You can tell the factor we don't pay him for waste paper. Mr. Molyneux, about the factory in the locker. Very concerned about that, aren't you, my dear Lucy? I think I know why. I think you're a fake, too. Section Q, I presume. I should have guessed. My name's Boris. Rick. Rick. Pleased to meet you, Rick. Hang about. You're an enemy agent. We are both in the same game, aren't we? Why should we be enemies? You don't happen to have the real formula, do you? What if I do? We might swap. Swap? 
I could give you a plan of a new missile in exchange for your DD-2X. Then we'll both get promotion and more pay. Certainly not. I joined the Secret Service to protect the security of my country. Oh, did you? And what did you join for? Mainly so I could get around and see the world. But if you blow the whistle on me, I might lose my job. Probably lose mine now. Blown another chance to catch the Factor. The Factor is no friend of ours. He betrays anyone for money. Perhaps we can help each other, Rick. Oh. If you promise to keep my name out of this, I'll tell the Factor I left the money at the drop. He'll go there to pick it up. He never trusts anyone else to do that. You could be waiting for him. It's a deal, Boris. Thanks. You're a good guy. A good guy? He's a KGB agent. Why shouldn't he be a good guy? Well, because I... Because... I must know where the factory is. I shall give you the address. And the number of the locker? I haven't worked that out yet. Oh, you can work it out for yourself. Start with a rectangle. Any rectangle. And draw lines inside it. Straight across or straight down. Begin with, say, two lines. One across one down and count the number of spaces they make inside the rectangle then draw another line and then another and keep counting the spaces for how long till you find the rule what rule the rule which tells you how many spaces there will be according to the number of lines you draw without having to count every space so what happens when i found this rule then you apply it to the two numbers i shall give you one tells you how many lines to draw side to side. The other, how many lines up and down. The total number of spaces they make in the rectangle is the number of the locker. So what are the two numbers? Oh, you will find everything you need to know if you look in. Yes? You look in where? <laughs> nice morning. <laughs> After him, don't let him get away. Oh. Oh. Well, he got away. He was going to tell me where the drop was when you walked out and... Nonsense! He's a foreign agent, so he must be a villain. He never meant to help you. Hold on. What's this? Carl and Blessing Limited, Hangar Lane, HO6 13VE. The address of the factory. Boris put it there. He did mean to help me. Oh. Ah. But what about the numbers of the lines, side to side and up and down? He didn't tell you what they are, did he? Ah, ah. Wait a minute. This postcode, HO613VE. What about it? I used to live in that part of town. The postcode was nothing like that. You don't think HO? VE. Horizontal, horizontal vertical. vertical. I beg your pardon. That's all we needed to know. What was? What do we have to do? Right. Start with any rectangle. First, draw one line across and one line down. Count the spaces in between. One, two, three, four. Four spaces. I'll make a note of that. Draw another line in the rectangle and count the spaces again. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six spaces. Carry on till we find the rule. How to work out the total number of spaces without having to count them. Horizontal, vertical. I think that has something to do with the answer. Can our heroes track the factor at the factory? Lay out the lines, reveal the rule and note the number of the locker. Then see the next stirring story in 